Chapter Five, Day Eighty One. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Oprah Winfrey. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble, and when you do, I want you to know this. Remember this: there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Day eighty-two. If you truly pour your heart into what you believe in, even if it makes you vulnerable, Emma Watson. Becoming yourself is really hard and confusing, and it's a process. But I found that ultimately, if you truly pour your heart into what you believe in, even if it makes you vulnerable. Amazing things can and will happen. Day eighty-three. In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Chris Burkard. In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Anything that is worth pursuing is going to require us to suffer just a little bit. And that tiny bit of suffering that I did for my photography, it added a value to my work. That was so much more meaningful to me than just trying to fill the pages of magazines. Day eighty-four. That's what real love amounts to: letting a person be what he really is. Jim Morrison. That's what real love amounts to: letting a person be what he really is. Most people love you for who you pretend to be. We're locked in an image, an act. And the sad thing is, people get so used to their image, they grow attached to their masks. Day eighty-five. What makes you different or weird? That's your strength, Meryl Streep. For young men and women too, what makes you different or weird? That's your strength. Everyone tries to look a cookie cutter kind of way, and actually. The people who look different are the ones who get picked up. I used to hate my nose. Now I don't. Day eighty-six. I would rather be ashes than dust. Jack London. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor. Every atom of me. In magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Day eighty-seven. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Melody Hobson. Love plus bravery equals happiness. It took me a long time to be as brave in my personal life as I was in my professional life, and that's because to be brave in love means opening yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. Then I met George. I always trust my mind when it told me to leap. So did my heart. Day eighty-eight. Don't shrink from risk, Tim Cook. Don't shrink from risk. And tune out those critics and cynics. History rarely yields to one person, but think, and never forget, what happens when it does. That can be you. That should be you. That must be you. Day eighty-nine. What happened to you, Eleanor Longden? The relevant question in psychiatry shouldn't be what's wrong with you, but what happened to you. Day ninety. If you do it right, once is enough. May West. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Day ninety one. Whether you learn from it, whether you choose to persevere, Barack Obama. The real test is not whether you avoid this failure, because you won't. It's whether you let it harden. Or shame you into an action, or whether you learn from it, whether you choose to persevere. Day ninety-two. Death is inevitable. 
Lorraine Scafaria Death is inevitable. I think it's a part of our lives so that we appreciate life. There's a reason we're not all vampires. Sometimes it's sudden, and then sometimes you're 95. To me, love is the happy ending. Day 93 A perfect world really can't be designed by one person or even by a million experts. Jay Silver My idea of a perfect world really can't be designed by one person or even by a million experts. It's going to be seven billion pairs of hands, each following their own passions. Day 94 What we're finding is it's not necessarily the reality that shapes us. Sean Aker What we're finding is it's not necessarily the reality that shapes us, but the lens through which your brain views the world that shapes your reality. And if we can change the lens, not only can we change your happiness, we can change every single educational and business outcome at the same time. Day 95 It gives us a quiet universe that we can share together. Michelle Kuo How do we diminish the distance between us? Reading is one way to close that distance. It gives us a quiet universe that we can share together, that we can share in equally. Day 96 Our people have never been more tightly tethered. Amanda Gorman While we might feel small, separate, and all alone, our people have never been more tightly tethered. The question's not if we will weather this unknown, but how we will weather the unknown together. Day 97 You are not being judged. Seth Godin You are not being judged. The value of what you are bringing to the audience is being judged. Day 98. While legally and constitutionally speech may be free, Arundhati Roy. While legally and constitutionally speech may be free, the space in which that freedom can be exercised has been snatched from us and auctioned to the highest bidders. Day 99. Don't be afraid of fear. Ed Helms. Don't be afraid of fear, because it sharpens you, it challenges you, it makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you also run away from the opportunity to be your best possible self. Day 100 Stories can punch holes in our mental walls. Elif Shafak Stories cannot demolish frontiers but they can punch holes in our mental walls. And through those holes, we can get a glimpse of the other, and sometimes even like what we see.